Yo, what's poppin', it's the Hyphenate, and what you just saw are clips from my new cinematic skate video production, How the Grinch Stole the Barracks Christmas. The full video released on the Barracks YouTube channel on Christmas Eve, and it's still there now, and I do have a link for that video in the description. So this short film skate video features Santa Claus and the Grinch. There are some cinematic acting scenes, and then obviously a bunch of skateboarding. Now for the entire production, we turned off all of the house lights. Every light that's in the Barracks warehouse, we turned that off and used only nan light lights including the mix panel 150 forza 300b forza 60b 30x pavel tubes 15x pavel tubes 30c pavel tubes 6c pavel tubes for now attachments and a projection mount for the forza 60b all right so here we are first day of filming for the grinch and santa claus skate the barracks we have some Christmas decorations on the ledge. This is gonna be the opening scene when Santa comes to bring presents. Then the Grinch comes and screws things up. So we actually have quite a few Nan lights in the shot. We have six of the new 30X Pavel tubes. We have them set to different colors. Santa Claus has a different set of colors. When the Grinch comes in, we have them in green, which you see now. Now to light up the ledge, we have two Forza 300B lights from Nan Light. We have two of them set at about 8 to 10 feet in height and about 7 to 8 feet away from the ledge at an angle pointing at the edges of the ledge. We had them kind of meet in the middle to kind of form a big spotlight set at 3200 Kelvin and about 30% output power. Now we actually did quite a few shots of Santa entering the barracks and putting the presents down. But when I came to editing the video, I actually wanted the intro to be a lot shorter. So I ended up cutting out a lot of what we shot. All the 30X Pavel tube lights in the back were set to about 40% output power. For the opening scene with Santa, we had the tube lights for him set at red and purple. But then when the Grinch comes and takes over, those tube lights turn green to pretty much accentuate his grand entrance. So we shot the scene where the Grinch destroys all the Christmas decorations the same day that we shot the opening scene. Now, fun fact, I actually forgot to get a star for the Christmas tree. We didn't even have enough time to actually decorate the top of the tree. So the top of the tree is actually really empty and plain. But to avoid people focusing on that and ruining the comment section with the top of the tree, when I did all the voiceover work for the Grinch, I actually have him mention that the top of the tree is lacking in decoration. I also didn't want comments about Santa being thin, so I used the Grinch's dialogue to address that as well. For all the acting scenes, we did multiple takes and multiple angles. But for this scene, we did it all in one take because we didn't have enough time to reset up the tree and all the gifts. The day of shooting this, I actually had no idea what the dialogue for the Grinch was gonna be. I came up with the dialogue the night that I was editing the video and just recorded the audio in my studio using the Sennheiser ME66 shotgun mic and the Zoom H6 to capture. Originally, I had planned for Santa to have some dialogue as well and I actually did the voice and recorded his dialogue. But when I was editing, I saw that he didn't really need any dialogue except for the sound of the grunt when he gets hit over the head. Luckily, Garrett's body language in the shots tells enough of the story that I didn't need Santa actually speak. We knew it was going to take too long to do the exact same setup of the mess on the day that Ricky was going to skate the actual ledge for the video. So I decided not to have Santa skate any of the ledge and just have that Ricky on a separate day with a different setup. The garland and the bows are lower on the ledge so that way he could actually grind the ledge. I had two Pavel Tube 30 C's in red on the ground on each end of the ledge. Then behind the ledge I had five four foot Pavel Tubes set to green and they were a mixture of 30X and 30C Pavel tubes. On the far back, I had the mix panel 150 set to red, full brightness, and full saturation. And then on top of the ledge, we put a variety of presents. Now, because Ricky Glazer and Gary Jenner skate for two different companies, they can't skate different brands. Even though they're in costume, their names are still attached to the video. So I ended up having both of them skate a blank board. So I got each of them a natural wood blank. Now Ricky skates a size 8 and Garrett skates an 8.25. Unfortunately, I couldn't find an 8.25 so I got Garrett an 8.5 and he actually skated his whole part with a bigger board than he normally skates. For us skaters, that's kind of a big factor and it really kind of changes the way you skate and it can make things more difficult. Now on the night of shooting the tricks on this ledge, Ricky actually snapped his board doing a back 5-0 kickflip out. 
And unfortunately, it was late at night. I didn't have another natural blank 8.0. So he had to continue that night's session with his other board that actually has graphics on it. Now, luckily, no one's noticed or mentioned so far that he had a different board in some clips than in the rest of the video. But now I know to have backup boards on any time that I'm filming. Now, for this production, I was the director, writer, cinematographer, editor, and I made all of the music. My good friend, Omari Segoviano, who helps me with almost all of my productions, was the one who really helped me do all the set design. He's a beast, and I couldn't have done this video without him. He really did help with so many different aspects on this video, more than just the set design. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Ricky Glazer and Garrett Jenner. Ricky Glazer is the guy who played the Grinch, and Garrett Jenner is the guy who played Santa. They're both incredible skateboarders, and if you haven't already, go check them out. I do have links for their Instagrams and social media in the description. Now, the entire production, every aspect of this was handled by just me and Omari. Garrett and Ricky were the talent, and we shot across six nights. Between eight to 10 hours of my time, the skater skated for about four hours a night. All right, so now we're gonna shoot the B-roll. We're gonna start off with some flat ground tricks, and then we're gonna do some other B-roll shots. But for the flat ground stuff, we have the Nanlite Mix Panel 150 with the honeycomb grid here to kind of just directionally point the light here and not spill out to the wall too much. And then we have four Nanlite Pavel Tube 30X lights and we have them configured green for the Grinch and we're gonna put them red for Santa. And then we do have the Forza 60B light up here with the 19 degree projection mount. And we do have some gobos here. We put some uh, snowflake gobos. So you see them projecting onto the wall and partially on the floor. So as they get into the frame, their body's gonna actually have the light projected on them. With that being so far away, it's actually gonna still look pretty dope. Now for the B-roll shots that are close-ups on Santa and the Grinch, I used the exact same lighting as the stationary shot of the flat ground tricks, except I didn't use the Forza 60B that supplied the light with the gobos. I also used a fog machine behind Santa, and then with the Grinch, I did some shots with the fog behind him and then some behind and in front. All the B-roll was shot at 60 frames per second so that I could slow motion some of the shots that I wanted to, bring them down to 40% on the 24p timeline. We have the kicker light to the side of them, and that kicker light is the Nanlite 15X Pavel tube set at 100% power, and one of my friends was just holding it close to their face, just right outside of the frame. Santa green, and then Grinch red. I wanna go over the cinematography, the actual gear that I used to film the video. The camera that was used for the entire production is the Sony a7S III, shooting in 4K 10-bit, 24 frames per second, except for the slow motion shots that I knew I was gonna slow down to 40%, I shot that in 60p. I used only three lenses for this entire production, and all the lenses that I use have a maximum aperture of f1.8, and I shot the entire video wide open at f1.8, which is better for low light and better for background blur. All the main skating shots were with the ultra-wide Sony 14mm f1.8 G Master lens. All the acting cinematic scenes were shot with the Sony Zeiss 55mm f1.8 lens. And then lastly, I used the Samyang 24mm f1.8 lens for the Sony E-mount full frame, and I used that only for the shots on the pyramid. Now for the entire production across all the lenses, I made sure to have a 1 8 mist diffusion filter. Now diffusion filters are awesome, especially for lights that you have in the shot for practicals like the tube lights that I use. The diffusion filter softens the highlights and can also help with softening blemishes on the face, though we didn't really shoot any faces, so that wasn't really the reason why I use it. I use it mainly for the glow that it adds to lights. I can show you really quick here on the lights back here, you can see a little glow around the edges. Now let me take off this diffusion filter from this lens. Look at the outside glow on the lights, and then now if I take it off, it's pretty much gone. The light just looks white. You only really see the color of the light when it's actually bouncing off of something. But with the diffusion filter, you can see the light a little bit more. You see the glow around it to really accentuate those lights. So in this production, I really wanted the lights to pop and really give it that Christmas green and red look. So the diffusion filters were essential. Now with the 55 millimeter and the 24 millimeter lenses, it was really easy to put a diffusion filter on that. I got a 67 millimeter 1 8 black pro mist diffusion filter made by Tiffin and then just use different size step up rings to make sure that that same filter fit across those two lenses. Now the big problem with the Sony 14 millimeter lens is that there is no filter thread on the actual lens. So you can't add filters in the front. So in order to make that work, I actually had to get an adapter made by Case which is actually a diffusion filter holder that screws onto the lens in the front, but it doesn't give it a filter thread circular. It actually gives it the slots for 100 by 100 millimeter filters. So I ended up using the Heda HD 4747 Nano Pro MC Black Mist 
1 8 filter, which is pretty much about the same exact look as the black Promus 1 8 that I'm using from Tiffin. To have really smooth shots and to have more cinematic cinematography, I use the DJI RS2 gimbal, which is incredible, very stable, and can handle a good payload. I use that with the small rig handle that articulates and changes angle so I can shoot low, high, etc. Every single shot in this video was done using the gimbal. Now when it came to actually shooting all the skating clips, we made sure to decorate all the locations with red and green. And because Ricky and Garrett were only available for about 4 hours each night, we were limited on the time that we could film. So having the lights with red and green allowed us to be able to shoot them without wasting too much time changing the light setup for each individual skater. So that way we could shoot the Grinch and Santa at the same time. The first spot that we filmed was the two sets of 5 stairs. On the first five stair set that had the handrail, we put all the Christmas decorations on the stairs, including stockings, snow, presents, and we put the small Nanlite 6C Pavel tubes, which are about 10 inches long and have magnetic backs. We actually stuck them right underneath on the square rail. Then across the area between the second set of five stairs, we just put several sets of presents and we put several Pavel tube lights horizontally and alternated the green and red colors. On the floor between the presents, we also alternated some of the other 6C Pavel tube lights. For the second set of five stairs that had the hubba ledge, we made sure to put the garland, bow, and stockings underneath the ledge part that they grind. We also put some Christmas tin cans and presents, and some fake snow on a couple of the stairs with some Pavel tubes on the bottom. Now we used two key lights, one on each set of five stairs. The Forza 300B set to 3200 Kelvin with about 27 to 30% output power using the standard reflector plate. And we had to put them as close as we could on the top area that I'm actually skating through, but not close enough that I run into them and knock them down. Now we had to put them as close as we could because if we put them further back away from the area that they're skating, then the light would be more angled and my body would cast a big shadow in the shot. After we filmed the line section with both sets of stairs, we went down to the bottom set of stairs and focused on the opposite ledge, turned off all the lights on the top set of stairs, and now that we were shooting at a different angle, I brought one of the Forza 300B lights to the bottom to be the main key light towards the ledge, kept one on the back up on top to give a nice backlight, lowered the output power for that light, and then kind of rearranged the lighting on the bottom set of stairs, with adding a few more 6C tube lights and some of the four foot tube lights on the runway. And for a little extra red light at the end, I used a Pavel tube 30C set to red, full saturation, full brightness. Now for the double bench setup, only Ricky Glazer skated that. On each bench on the top, we stuck five Nanlite 6Cs and alternated the red and green lights. Underneath the bench, we put a 30C Pavel tube. And then in front of the bench, we put some presents, a bow, and then we put the 15X lights set to red. We wanted a slightly silhouette feel, so in the far back, we put a mixed panel 150 set to green at full saturation and full brightness. And our main key light, which we dimmed to about 10% output power, is the Forza 300B. Now for all the skating that I had filmed up to this point, we shot with the Sony 14mm ultra wide lens, but I wanted this shot to be a little bit more tight. So I used the Sony Zeiss 55mm f1.8 lens. Now when it came for the setup for the pyramid, I wanted to split the light half red, half green. So on each side, I put a mix panel 150 and set them to the respective colors and at full brightness, full saturation. On the top, along with the decorations, we used four 6C tube lights. Then we used four foot 30C Pavel tubes on the top edge of the pyramid. To really enhance the Christmas feel, we used the Forza 60B with the 19 degree projection mount and a Christmas tree gobo to project onto the center of the pyramid. Then our main key light again is the Forza 300B at about 15% output power. When it came to filming on the pyramid, I ended up using the Samyang 24mm f1.8 lens, but I went back to the ultra wide 14mm lens when we went to the A frame. On this spot, the focus was to skate the rails, not the ledges, so we ended up putting some fake snow and presents on top of the ledges since they were going to be unused. In front of the rails, we put some fake snow, some gifts, some presents, and some garland across the bottom rail that doesn't get grinded on. And then using magnets, we stuck two 30C Pavel tubes on those lower rails. We got some flat rectangular metal pieces that actually come with the 6C lights and we gaffered them onto that bottom rail so that we could actually have a flat surface on that round rail. 
attached magnets that had a quarter inch screw onto the clear mounts that come with the Pavel tubes that have a quarter inch thread in the back. And we put two clips on each end of each Pavel tube to have extra stability. And then right under the ledges, we put four foot Pavel tubes. Behind the ledge, we put a 30X Pavel tube horizontally on a stand and we use the app to actually split the light to have one half of that light green and the other half red. Behind that we put two mix panel 150s, one on each end of the ledge. Then our main key light again is the Forza 300B at about 15% output power. So on the further back lighting, we kept all green on the left and all red on the right. But for the Pavel tubes that were right underneath the rail in the front, we alternated to the opposite side. Though we put the lights in a very symmetrical design, you don't really get to notice that when we're shooting on each end of the rails. But for the one shot that Garrett does a 50-50 across the entire rail, going up from one side and down to the other, I was able to shoot head on so you could see the symmetrical setup. Now when it came to the 10 stair rail, only Garrett Jenner was skating that. And we were pretty much shooting to one side, so the flat ledge to the right wasn't actually decorated at all. Only the left side was with the small hubba and then underneath the stairs. In the far back, pretty high pointed at the top of the floor, we have a mix panel 150 set to red. We put that at full brightness so that Garrett could see the floor and the back of the rail. Because of that, our main key light, the Forza 300B, had to be increased in output compared to the other shots. We actually put the output power on the 10 stair to about 60%. We put four four foot Pavel tubes on the stairs and then on the hubba on the left, because it has a metal ledge, we were able to stick the six C Pavel tubes directly onto the ledge. Now, when it came to the three block, we put some glittery garland on the back rail, put some other Christmas decorations towards the back as we needed the stairway to be completely clear because Garrett was not gonna do any grinds on any rails here. He was doing a flip trick to finish his part. And I felt just like the far back didn't have anything exciting. So I put a Forza 60B with the projection mount and a gobo of snowflakes and I put that on that black wall. The Forza 60B was set to 100% output power. Then we put mixtures of 30C, 30X, and 15X Pavel tubes on the bottom corners of each step. The main key light again is the Forza 300B at about 15% output power. We put a mix panel 150 set to full output power and green. Now once Garrett started actually doing some tricks and I found the right angle that I wanted to film at, I decided to add more Pavel tubes across the side of the stairs and really outline the front and the sides. It made the three block look a little bit more epic shooting from the side. Now when it came to shooting the quarter pipe, we put two 30C Pavel tubes, one on each side vertically, and then we put a 30X Pavel tube and then using the app, we actually split the light in half red and green, put presents towards the top and some decorations along the walls. I did use a Forza 60B with the projection mount and the snowflake gobos, and you can see them a bit more on the black than on the sky wall. Now on each side of the quarter pipe, we do have the mix panel 150s set to red and green and focus the light towards the edges. In the center of the quarter pipe, we did use a Forza 300B at about 15% output power, along with the Fresnel attachment for the Forza 300. We put that at about a 25 degree spread, set to 3200 Kelvin. Now the couple shots where I'm directly in the center, I actually brought down the 300B output power to about 5%, so my body wouldn't cast a noticeable shadow. But on the shots where I'm not head on, we had the output power set to about 15%. Now we shot the pole jam clips on a different night on the bottom five stair, and we focused on only one of the ledges. On the little pole that Ricky grinds and launches off of, we put some sandbags to keep it from moving, and we did rig up some 6C Pavel tubes. Put one in the front, put one in the back, red and green. Now that really made that black pole stand out and look a lot more epic. On the five stairs, we put four 30C Pavel tubes, red and green, and then on the upper level in the back, we put a mix panel 150 set to full output power and green. And then for our key light, we use the Forza 300B with the Fresnel attachment at about a 25 degree spread, 20% output power. I had the mix panel 150 set to red, full brightness, and full saturation. Now we knew what Grinch's last shots were gonna be, and it was gonna be the five stair rail, and we shot this on a separate night than the night that we shot the lines. So here we actually decorated slightly different. We added more 6C Pavel tubes directly underneath the rail. Again, because it's square, we were able to just put the magnetic backs and have it just stick on there easily. On the floor level, we put a mix panel 150 set to red and full output power. And we did put some extra Pavel tubes along the tops where we knew they would be in the shot. And then on the higher ground, we put the main key light, which was a Forza 60B with the for now attachment set at about 45 degrees and put the output to 100%. Now we shot the front side board to kickflip out on one side of the five stair and then the dark side on the other side facing the opposite wall. But we left the lighting exactly the same. 
Now when it came to the last final shot where the Grinch snaps the board, we actually really wanted a silhouette here so there was no main key light, just two backlights set to green which were the mixed panel 150s and then between them we put two red 30C Pavel tubes and that was it. That was the only source of light for that shot. Now when it came to the music, I've actually made various Christmas song hip hop remixes throughout the years and I wanted this entire production to have that modern hip hop feel. Now for the opening intro scene, I actually felt like it didn't need the hip hop aspect of the beat so I actually went into the program where I made the beat and I took out all of the drums and I kept it more simple just so it didn't feel so upbeat. But that first song is my version of Carol of the Bells, just without the drums. I have Santa Skate to my song that I did with Autumn Alba, which is a cover remix of Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Now in the original full song that we did, I do have a verse in there, but because Santa's part is not so long, I ended up taking that verse out. Then for the Grinch, I have my Deck the Halls remix, which actually starts off in the major key, which is a happier sound, but when the Grinch shows up and it actually really goes to the Grinch takeover, the key of the song changes to a minor to give it a darker feel. Now for the scene where the Grinch is taking away Santa Claus from the spot where he's in the way of the ledge, I actually ended up putting my Jingle Bells hip hop beat. And then when the Grinch goes back to skating, it goes back to the Deck the Halls beat. All of those Christmas songs are available on Spotify, Apple Music, all that good stuff. Just search the hyphenate on any music platform and all my music will pop up, including all the Christmas songs. I worked really hard on this production. It was actually pretty exhausting. I only had a small window of time to film, edit it, and have it ready to go up right before Christmas. But I'm really happy with the final result, and I hope you guys like it. Again, if you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out on the Barracks YouTube channel. I do have a link in the description. Again, another huge shout out to Garrett Jenner and Ricky Glazer for taking time out of their busy schedules to come and be a part of this production. I really don't know how they even did what they did in the mask and the costumes, the beard, etc. All that stuff gets in the way of a skater doing their tricks from getting in the way of seeing the board to the dark moody lighting kind of making it harder to see. They really did an exceptional job and it was a battle. Like, we had almost a thousand clips, if not actually a little bit more than a thousand clips at the end of filming, but they did an incredible job. I'm very appreciative of them. Thank you to Nanlite for the incredible lights. You guys really helped make this production look way bigger, way better, and way more entertaining aesthetically. And a big shout out to Sony Alpha. I love the gear. Definitely top notch. Not a lot of people shoot skate videos like this. I did my Halloween Kills the Barracks video and then now my How the Grinch Stole the Barracks Christmas video in this cinematic style with Sony Alpha cameras, Nan light lighting, and just in a different production than skateboarding normally is done. And this is something that I definitely am gonna continue to do and I hope you guys enjoy the future projects. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in getting any of the gear that I used, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.